Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about fashion icons. So I'm talking to you about like, the things that I personally think and have invested in. So I've got four pieces here to kind of unbox with you guys. Um, and they're pieces that I've invested in for 2021. So they're things that I think are gonna be fashion icons in 2021 and also key investment pieces. So these are the things that I'm investing in in my wardrobe for 2021. And they are pieces that I can wear like now, but also pieces that I know that I will wear all through the year. They're either key wardrobe staples or pieces that are gonna be like huge trends for 2021. So so hopefully you guys will find some inspiration in this video. Um, all of the pieces in the video were kindly gifted to me by Farfetch and you guys know what that means. It means I've got another Farfetch code for you. I literally get asked this all the time over on Instagram if I've got a code. So you will all be happy to know that I've got a code. I'm gonna write it on the screen and I'll also add it to the description box below. So if you are thinking of treating yourself to a key piece for 2021, or an investment piece for all round, um, then make sure you use the code so you can get 10% off. All of the terms and conditions for the code are in the description box, um, but it doesn't work on some brands like Gucci, it doesn't work on sale items, and you need to be a new customer when you are using the code. So if you've already got an account, it won't work, so just make sure that you sign up with a new account, basically. So I've got a few things. I'm gonna start with the smallest and more, most affordable piece. And this is something that I've wanted for a while um, and I just think it's going to add so much to my outfits. I haven't got any clothing in this video really because I'm obviously heavily pregnant so for me I've kind of gone down the accessory route because it's things that I can style up and I also feel like accessories can sometimes be more timeless than clothes anyway. Um, so I have gone for number one this lovely scarf from Acne. It's in these lovely neutral colours um, like browns and creams and the tones are gorgeous and I feel like this is such a great piece because it's great for layering now while it's really cold and keeping you nice and warm and I also love a scarf for kind of mixing up we're all getting to the point where we're kind of fed up of our winter wardrobes and I feel like a new scarf can really like breathe life into those old winter outfits also I feel like it's something that I will wear as an extra layer of warmth when I don't need a coat. So it's like quite a good thing to wear when it's not quite no coat weather, but it's not coat weather. So it's like that in between kind of time, um, transseasonal. And so it's great for that. Um, and I feel like this kind of color with all my neutral wardrobe is gonna go perfectly. They have got a few different acne scarves online, but I just really loved this kind of simple one. I thought it was quite classic. It's got the classic big acne logo and these gorgeous um like fuzzy soft tassels so this is the acne scarf on and this is how i pictured wearing it obviously this kind of neutral scarf is going to look great with everything but at the moment i am living in these kind of lounge sets because they're super stretchy and super comfortable and i feel like that's going to go on for a few more months and this just kind of makes it feel a bit more dressy i've literally just put on a pair of earrings put on this scarf and it just looks more kind of pulled together and then i've got some trainers on too and this is what I really love about this scarf because it's so warm it adds a real nice cozy layer to it and also it's just kind of makes it look have something more about it um but I also think it just looks so nice and it looks nice like this too um for a kind of like different look um and I know I'll be wearing this as well with like coats all my tan coats Blade, like my tan blazer will look great with it um and then like also with like jeans and things so yeah it's definitely and also what I love about this too is that it's a, a real timeless piece it's not like a trend piece so next winter it's going to be just as perfect so next we're going to go into shoes and I've actually got two pairs of shoes to show you guys um, and the, this pair of shoes are, there's a pair that I've been looking at for a while, it's a brand that I love and a brand that I personally think are such a staple investment piece for anyone's wardrobe and it is Golden Goose and I've actually already worn them once so this is a fake unboxing <laughs> because I couldn't resist because I love them so much. So if you guys um, have like watched my videos for a while you'll know that I've got a couple of pairs of the kind of classic iconic gold goose and I really really wanted to pair like this 
these are the classic golden goose but with the slightly thicker sole and I love a chunky shoe so I just felt like these were something that was missing from my wardrobe I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of them golden goose trainers are honestly so comfortable they are such a great designer trainer to invest in uh, comfort wise and um, I've even got Jack onto them too he loves them now too um, and they've got this they've got like writing all along here um, and then they're just white leather and they've got the silver star and back and they do have them they had them in black too and I was so torn between the black and the white but I just felt like the white were more kind of classic and would go with everything and I'm going to be a new mum soon so I have been thinking about that when making my purchases and I think that these trainers are going to be perfect they're so easy to slip on and so comfortable and they kind of instantly elevate any look so I feel like I'm going to be wearing a lot of leggings and joggers and just like cozy comfy outfits and I feel like these are going to really elevate those um and like I said for me these I mean I feel like they're iconic for like any time but these are more to me like a lifelong iconic piece like they they don't go out of style they just are timeless um so yeah super happy to have these in my collection and I think I'm going to get so much wear out of these particularly uh, in the coming months and also I forgot to mention I love golden goose for summer too like they look really cool with jeans joggers and all of that but they look so nice with a summer dress they've kind of got that real like California girl vibe and also if you're someone who's not a fan of like the distressed look of golden goose because uh, a lot of them can look super distressed um these are actually a really good pair to get because they're not as distressed um like they've kind of got the distressed soul um like they look a bit more beige but the leather is like pristine so they look way smarter than some of the other golden goose because i've got another pair and they literally look like 100 years old i love that because that is like the look of them but these are more kind of classic and clean so I've just got the Golden Goose trainers on and I've only got my maternity jeans, the only jeans that fit me at the moment. So please excuse the jeans because they are not the best look. Um, but they look so good with these trainers. I would actually recommend sizing down if you like a tight fit um, or like a close good fit. I just feel like they kind of look really cool. I love, love, love the platform on them. I just feel like it has that really kind of cool look. Let me get a bit closer to show you guys. I just love the platform on them and I love the fact that they're really clean um, and I just feel like they're kind of like a more kind of grown-up version of the Golden Goose trainers and like I said I feel like these are really are an all year round shoe like they're going to look great with summer dresses they look really cool with jeans I'll definitely wear them with like my tracksuits and lounge around things um, and then I've just popped on my acne scarf with it and a chunky jumper and then my new bag. Um, so it's just a really nice kind of casual everyday look and the trainers just kind of bring it up a level. So we'll switch it up now and head over to the bags. And the next two pieces that I have for you are both pieces that to me are obviously with anything that's expensive and designer, I would not get it if I didn't think it was something that I would last beyond the trends but these are definitely pieces that i think are going to be iconic pieces for 2021 so the first is the new prada bag and it's called the prada cleo and i've had my eye on this one for a while and i love it so much it's a brushed leather so it's actually i don't know if you would call it painting i wouldn't say it's painting because it's not like shiny but it's kind of got that really soft brushed leather it's a shoulder bag so it's kind of got that 90s noughties feel to it which is super on trend still at the moment um and it's kind of like an upgraded version of the nylon prada bags i have one of those and i wear it all the time which is why i knew for a fact that i would get so much wear out of this if it's perfectly over the shoulder it's so chic and it's the sort of bag that you would wear you could wear it like out for dinner you could wear it out for a party not that I would take a Prada bag to a party uh, if we have any parties this year. Um, but also, like, it can look smart and business, casual. I just feel like this bag will go with anything. Um, and they have it also in, like, mint green. And they have it in pink. And they have it also with a flap over. Um, so many different uh, colorways and styles. And this is honestly... Um, 
to me, I feel like this is going to be like one of the key investment bags of the year. So if you are thinking um, of treating yourself to a bag and like wondering what the it bags are going to be, then I would definitely suggest this one. Then the final thing that I have to show you um, is like the, probably like the main thing. Um, and it's another pair of shoes. And it's from a brand that I've never shopped from before. And it's Prenza Shula. And they have really, really, really gorgeous shoes. And I've always loved their stuff. But I've never actually made the jump. And I got a pair of loafers from them. So to me, loafers are going to be huge this year. We've already seen like the Prada ones that are like sold out. Everyone loves them. Those you can also use the code on. So I'll link them below. Um, and yes, so, but I decided that I didn't want to get a pair of Prada ones because I have got, uh, I got some Prada shoes last year, which I love, and again, you can use code, I'll link below, um, and also had the Prada bag, and I just felt like these were kind of, they are, let me show you them, so, these are the shoes, so they are the chunky loafer style that is super on trend at the moment, and I feel like it's going to be so popular all year through because i've already seen people styling them for winter when it's cold with like jumper dresses and socks like even knee-high socks which isn't my personal style but i feel like they will look really cute with little black ankle socks or gray ankle socks and bare legs definitely um with like a jumper dress now or then in summer i think they'll look really nice um so they're definitely something that's going to be sticking around all year i feel like they're a really key shoe trend for 2021 but i also feel like the loafer is an icon in itself like when is a loafer not going to be on trend like it's just such a classic wardrobe staple and what i love about these ones is that they've got that nod to the trend in the fact that they're chunky um because it's definitely the chunky loafer that's super popular at the moment and i love the white stitching on them but because they haven't got like the big logo or anything they're kind of like a bit more low-key and i feel like when that iconic prada loafer has been and gone these will still be around and i'll still be loving them and wearing them and i'm just picturing myself when i'm a new mum and i can't be bothered <laughs> to make an effort these are going to look so nice with like my leggings or my split hem leggings and a chunky jumper and then put these on and it's just going to make the outfit pop um so i feel like that's what i love about accessories like shoes and bags is that you can if you can't be bothered to make an effort with your outfit you can just put a really killer statement accessory on and it will like pull the whole look together um, and i feel like this is what these are going to do for me so. so this is the look that i had in mind about how just like uh, baggy jumper leggings and the loafers and I just feel like they make this kind of look way more chic and pulled together um I just really love them this is what they look like on and um, I've got quite big feet too and I feel like I always get really self-conscious of them I've got size eight feet and they don't make my feet look big at all so if you're a fellow big foot person then that's really good to know so before i put the jacket on i just thought i'd show you it with the acne scarf too and it looks so cozy and cute um and this is like the perfect kind of as i said like in between weather when you don't need a coat but you're still like probably not warm enough to go out in just a jumper and then this scarf will keep you nice and warm um, and this is just a really cute little look so i just wanted to show you it then with a blazer on um, because blazers have become like my best friend because they're so easy to just shove on over with my um, jumper and leggings and stuff and they make it look smarter and I just feel like the loafers look so great with these and then the bag and it's just such a cute little outfit I feel like this is just so easy and comfortable and such a great like obviously not everyone watching this isn't going to be a new mum but like it's a great new mum look for me because it's so comfy and soft but it also looks pulled together because of the great accessories i've kind of like got quite a selection of different things when it comes to like icons in terms of classic pieces that are like the key wardrobe staple investment pieces and also icons for 2021 but as i said i feel like all of these pieces are quite classic as well so i've not got anything i was thinking of getting the prada bag in the mint green but i'm so glad that i decided to get the white because i feel like the white is more classic so even when 
the bag maybe isn't like the it bag of the year i feel like i will still be wearing it and i'll still be loving it because it's a classic and it's a classic style and it's a classic color so i hope that you guys enjoyed that little unboxing and a little kind of preview of what i'm going to be wearing this year and what's going to be like on trend and the key trends and uh, investment pieces for 2021 um, I'd love to hear what you think are going to be key do you agree with me do you think there's anything that I've missed out um, do you think there's something that I should be getting I literally cannot wait as well to um, be back in jeans and things um, in 2021 and I'm definitely going to treat myself to an investment pair of jeans when I am um, there's a pair from a gold that I've seen that I love and then I also really want some redone denim so I think that that's going to be like my new mum treat to myself is a pair of really nice jeans um, but I would love to hear what you guys are going to treat yourself to as well this year and uh, don't forget that you can use the code again thank you so much to Farfetch for all of my new goodies I can't wait to wear them and make sure you follow me over on Instagram to see how I'm going to be styling them up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.